Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at which drive cleaner is best for you. It's uh, often debated, but the answer does not apply to everybody. It all depends on what you need. So we're going to take a look at our three top choices with no disrespect to our other friends and K-Cleaner and Glary Utilities and all the other ones out there. These are three for good reason. We're going to walk through them all. It'll take you about 12 minutes to go through it. I'll put links at the bottom when we're done, as well as a timer to jump to the other two. So C Cleaner has the advantage of being very conservative with a ton of options. It also goes beyond a cleaner. We'll jump there real quick with a startup manager where you can just enable, disable anything that you want. Browser plugin manager works like that. Disable, delete. Disk Analyzer to see what's using space, Duplicate Finder to see where you have dupes, Access to System Restore, and of course a Drive Wiper, which is actually in the options over here. So speaking of options, there's Context Menu, Cookies, <laughs> I ain't falling for that again, Stupid Edge always running in the background, Include Exclude Folders, a scheduler if you pay for it, which reminds me watch out for if you don't have the portable on the installer and want to install Google Chrome uncheck that smart cleaning which comes into the pro versions which allows you to determine when to run it automatically users if you want to just do you or all the rest of them on your computer updates you can update all the time but not here so the to actually install it you're gonna have to pay for it sorry advanced um, deleting files in the temp or recycle bin for 24 hours for example skip user account privacy is sending anonymous non-personal it is checked by default I've unchecked it and the about you have a registry cleaner uh, we usually skip it but if you feel the errors just hit scan for issues and when you're done you can click fix all issues I've done it on numerous computers I've never had a problem just for fun but you're really not going to gain anything by doing it so as you can see you can hit fix it'll tell you how many errors you found and it can back up your registry so that's kind of cool so there's 73 so let's skip and go to the cleaner you have all your windows apps edge explorer and you can check through it if you're nervous about stuff but i've never seen a computer get screwed up by running wise disk or uh, c cleaner we'll have to do a roll here and under applications if you had let's say microsoft office you wanted to uncheck it just to be safe you could you know because you're creating word documents or wherever you have photos uh, in those applications you can make sure it doesn't run it but these utilities aren't in the business of deleting important stuff like word documents and jpegs and stuff so you're typically okay there all right so all you got to do here in this case is click analyze and we're going to do that because we want to kind of show you what it can find etc 324 mags now i played around with this a little bit before i started filming and it's 309, 320, so right around that neighborhood. Now all you gotta do is click Run Cleaner and you can leave. So that is it, so 324 megs, pretty conservative. So once again, for the people who are conservative, but like a few options, you can ignore everything. Start C Cleaner, click Run Cleaner, close it, and you're done. Now why is Disk Cleaner? That has a slight advantage, slash disadvantage. It doesn't have all the settings in there so wise disk cleaner is part of their all-in-one suite it is the drive cleaner of their all-in-one system utility so it doesn't have startup manager and all the other stuff that C cleaner had what it does have is a very good drive cleaner so as you can see if they advertise their products here well but all you got to do here is scan you have advanced cleaner and the slimming system we'll look at those real quick there aren't a ton of settings in here However, there is secure deleting. We discussed that before. Remember when you do that, if you wipe a file out, it wipes the file out. But if you scan it one, three, seven, thirty-five times, it's going to take that much longer to run the program. So for example, on CCleaner, while it may have scanned and cleaned everything in one minute, if I want to rewrite over those blocks so the files are unrecoverable that you delete, it's going to take, you know, five, six, seven times longer. We're going to leave it off for speed because we don't want to stick you here watching and listen to this for 15 minutes. Auto run if you want to go to the command line. Eh, not sure about that. That's more for advanced users. Why do they have CNET in here? 
for an exclusion is beyond me. But you can add a folder, add a file. You can browse to a cookie. Not quite as friendly as CCleaner, but again, I think where Wise Disk Cleaner rules is it's just purely a drive cleaner that does more, and I'm going to show you that right now. So you can uncheck anything you want here or check it. As you can see, cookies are off by default. A lot of people do that because once you clean your cookies, you're logged out of everything you logged into and you have to do it again. So here's what they call their common cleaner. Let's do a quick scan and see what it finds and then we'll jump over to advanced and the slimming system which is unique to wise disk clean as far as I know. You, you can't close this Microsoft Edge. I mean, so as you can see, the big difference here is instead of 320, we've got uh, just about three times as many files. So and that's without doing cookies. All you got to do now is click clean or if you change your mind say oh, I'm going to add cookies then scan again. There's a scheduler which again you can kind of compare to CCleaner is free and it's included and you can opt to when to run it and even include or exclude the advanced cleaner. So there's your 1.1 gig so now let's look at advanced cleaner. All you got to do is click scan and wait a second. As you can see all it's pulling is dot tmp and dot chk files. These are useless, you don't need them. They don't take up a ton of space either at 223 megs on a clean install. However, if you've been running your windows for a year or years, you could get four, five, six times. So keep in mind when I scan, I'm in VMware on a relatively clean windows install. So I've installed a few things. You're, you can expect to see a lot more than what you're seeing here. Slimming system, oh again, just hit clean when you're done. Slimming system. This is neat, so let's get rid of the downloaded installation files, baseline cache, help files, unless you need help, wallpaper files, and you can do that and you can hit remove, but we don't have to. You can see we're 818 megs, so you do the 818 megs plus 220, so that's almost a gig, and here, so basically, Wise Disk Cleaner quickly and easily is going to pull essentially, what, two gigs? compared to 300 megs. That's a big, big difference. So there's why is disk clear in a nutshell. The one thing they do offer is a disk defragmenter. What I don't like about it is that it's not detecting my SSD drive and it really should and offer to optionally adjust the trim or do nothing at all or at least warn me. But you see, it doesn't say anything here. So if you have an SSD drive, uh, the general rule is stay away from this. So, And that's about it. So there's Wise Disk Cleaner and its strengths and weaknesses. And now we go to the Mac Daddy. I got to say it. P-R-I-V-A-Z. Privazer? Privazer? I don't know. Somebody help me out here. In my opinion, this is the Mac Daddy. It is focused on not just cleaning your files, but protecting your privacy. It removes a ton of stuff. I personally like to walk through the 14 steps here in the beginning. So bear with me. Decide if you're basic or advanced user so that you can decide just how deep you want to go. So it does have it for those of you who are looking at CCleaner and want more and are concerned about your privacy. This might be it for you. So let's hit next. Remove invalid shortcuts. I usually do that myself. So again, we're going to Office, I don't have Office, we'll say yes. Yeah. So bear with me as we kind of go as fast as we can. Remove photo image software history. Again, as we mentioned before, these programs aren't geared to re remove your GIF JPEGs. It's geared to remove junk temp files you don't need. Thumbnail caches, I like that one. I'm going to remove those. Again, each one read it right here, so I'm just going to kind of go through quick. Autocomplete history. Oh, I like that. Most people wouldn't. Again, just read it. Next, or step six. Site thumbnails, sure, why not? Let's clean it up. Let's get all sorts of junk. Smart selection of cookies, that's, see, now, you haven't seen that with the other ones, you gotta do it manually. So yeah, I want my Facebook, my Twitter. I don't wanna get logged out, so that's cool, but you can do it yourself manually or just kill them all. Web cache, yeah, why not? Clean shell bags, why not? Oh, we gotta have a donor's version for that. So there's a few limitations in here. Well, let's just say no for now. You got to say no to something, right? Microsoft Game History, I don't use it, so why not? Remove the previous installation of Windows. Okay, so that's if you have like a Windows.old folder from an upgrade. That's what that would do. 
Um, I'm going to say no because I, it could misrepresent how much files it actually found. Clean Windows Update. Now you saw this on Wise Disk Cleaner. Uh, download installers of updates, blah, blah. Windows Prefetch. There's a little bit of information on it here. It's highly debated. That's up to you. Uh, I would leave it on the default. And don't forget, when you started this in the beginning, you could just skip all of this and jump forward. Disable hibernation. I'm going to say no, because once again, I want to kind of get a little better idea of how much space it's actually clearing, because a couple of these mentioned in particular, it's a ton of free space. Well, let's hit save, and you can go to the main menu or perform your first scan. Now, it's going to take longer than all the other ones you've seen, but as you can see, it's doing a pre-analysis and you can see all the different things it's looking at cookies messengers indexing a memory cleaner so a lot of people would kind of dig that because you know people who really bog their systems down love those memory cleaners man your system copy and burning download etc now you can hit start cleaning whenever you want shut down your pc you can create a restore point save your registry or do not clean the registry that would be my choice as we mentioned before so, as you can see, we're in advanced mode. If you use a basic mode, it's going to look a little bit different, but wait till you see the junk it cleans out of here. Not only is it clean the junk, but it's also going to secure your privacy better than most. So I'm going to hit pause while this puppy's scanning. It's only going to take probably another half a minute. And as I mentioned, there you go, 1 minute, 28 seconds. That's not bad, but when you're trying to do a video in 12 minutes, which we're going to fail at. Let's go over here to see the cleanup options. And this is why. So you have your one, as you can see, more than all of them. The, the U.S. Navy version, German Federal Office for Information. If you don't know, 35 passes the MAC day, but you're going to get warned at some point that it's going to take a long time. So here's another neat option. Let's say you're scanning your flash drives, or like me, you have an you know SSD drive, USB key, memory cards, etc. Once again, you can choose the pass. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, just free space cleanup. As you can see, there's your difference right there. 25.3. So when you want to do secure writing, just keep in mind you're going to need to walk away. It's going to take a while. If you just want to clean it, let's hit that. Click OK and hit clean. Now you get it again. So you have your normal cleanup. Here's your time. I really, really love this. Turbo. It's just your normal cleaning. Your quick cleanup which is going to look at some of your privacy stuff, to secure, delete your traces, and you have the normal cleanup, which is going to be in their world, as you can see I mentioned earlier, 15 minutes to 90 minutes. That is rewriting all the free space, secure deletion of your traces. But for the example of the video, which is one of my longest ever, we're going to do turbo cleanup. Nope. So you can create a restore point. That helps. Let's take a look and see what this thing can pull out compared to the other stuff. We're going to hit pause again real quick just to save you some time. Yeah, see, I saw this before. First clean up take one to two hours. If you have a really slower computer, you haven't cleaned it a long time, it's possible, but it hasn't taken me more than a few minutes on my first run. And we'll be right back. And there we go. So minute four, pretty quick, fast machine. Freed up some memory. And you can click C on any of these things just to see exactly what it did. So while it says it cleared 439 megs, which is more than C cleaner, it doesn't appear to be counting how much space these log file entries were, how much space these directories use, and how much space these databases use. So you could take a look at it and see what it did. As you can see, we mentioned before, it's DAT files and junk that your system doesn't need, but it's pretty amazing that there's that much garbage in there and that Wise Disk Cleaner can find so much crap. There's a donor's version. As you saw, there's only a couple of things in there you get with a donor's version, and you can donate as little as $9 for it. So that is pretty reasonable. So you have your history. It keeps track of everything you've been doing as well. And again, the one thing, once you get past those 14 steps, as you can see, yes, it doesn't have all the startup managers and look for uh, duplicate files that CCleaner has, but what it does have is the ability to protect your privacy. So you have your options here, which takes us right back to where we were from the beginning. So if you skipped it, just come here. And your advanced options. So this is kind of neat. Save your registry changes. Context menu. I think I got that in there. No, I don't right now. 
thought I did. Yeah, there's delete without a trace. So if you had files you wanted to delete, you could right click and securely delete them. Restore points, which you want to do with uh, memory, flash memory. Page file dot sys, if you don't know what it is, leave it alone. The rest of you can debate away. And internet browsing, you can choose whatever you want from here, cache pass, etc. So really not much to do in the advanced options. However, I would take the time to do the 14 steps that we showed you in the beginning, as boring as it was. So there you go. So as the video closes over here in the right corner, blah, 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 there should be a little Major Geeks icon. If you click that, you can subscribe. We appreciate it, especially if you're still here at 15 minutes and going on 16 because longer than ever. But there is your probably top three. One of these three is going to suit your needs, and I really, really hope that we narrowed it down for you. So as always... Thank you so much for the new subscribes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.